The question was, as you said it, how much trust and confidence do you have in the news media, such as newspapers, TV, and radio, when it comes to reporting the news fully, accurately, and fairly? That's the wording on it. Uh, as you say, 44%, great deal, a fair amount of trust, which leaves 55 a majority, not very much or not at all. That's not radically different than what we've seen in recent years. Um, back after 9-11, and actually in the late Clinton years, uh, it had flipped, and we had a majority in the 50% who had the positive great deal, a fair amount of trust. But that seemed to have flipped about the time of the Iraq War, and it stayed fairly low as we've talked about it since. So at this point, more Americans distrust the media than trust the media. There's other polling out there which shows uh, Americans have just a basic sense that the media are inaccurate and not trustworthy and don't do their job well. Two thousand fourteen is here and it's time for Congress to make some changes. Congress has been partnering with bigger media companies trying to buy out smaller media streams. The problem in twenty fourteen that Congress needs to fix is the fact that they're partnering with the larger media companies to buy out smaller media streams. Well, I think that they're just trying to get money. Because I mean it's sort of like an investment where they're like they think that the bigger companies are going to eventually buy out the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So they wanna assist them so they can get money from it because it's all about whoever has the bigger wallet uh -huh. and they also want all the power because if they can have control over who does what then they have all the power which is what they want overall uh -huh. I mean it's kind of like bullying because Congress is like bigger than the smaller companies and so just because the smaller companies have a smaller majority they don't have as big as a voice therefore Congress is able to take control over them and so the people need to be aware of their rights and protect those smaller companies, but Congress needs to not, like, bully them. Yeah, and they're teaming up against them mm -hmm. with the bigger media streams. And you have to be able to protect them because they are representing the smaller majority of people, but they're still people. And they also are almost brainwashing them into thinking it's okay. Like, eventually, we'll have bigger companies buying out every single smaller company. It'll be all the bigger companies, no smaller companies, just the big ones. It's going to become a monopoly. Yeah. And when that happens, there's going to be no control. And then Congress has everything. And then Congress is going to have total control, which the moment Congress is in, in control, the people aren't. One of the most pressing issues that I think all Americans need to be concerned with as it pertains to spectrum allocation in the United States is the concentration of radio spectrum in the hands of very few companies. Most people are aware now that uh, there are four cellular companies. Everybody knows AT&T and Verizon, T-Mobile, and that other one with an S, that's Sprint. Well, there used to be over 300 cell phone companies. Then there were 40. Now there's four. That's a very, very challenging issue in terms of making sure we have a competitive environment for Spectrum. Now, you may like the service you get, but quite frankly, you're subsidizing a lot of things you don't need and you really don't have a lot of choice. Now, in the broadcast space, where we're from, broadcast television Spectrum, for years and years, the majority of stations were owned by small businesses in the markets that they served. So if whatever town you're in or city would have a company that was locally owned bringing you television through a free conduit being over-the-air television. Much has changed and much is continuing to change through consolidation. And it's one of the things that Amy and I are very concerned about, particularly since low-power television or the really small stations, which is what we have and who we represent, have been kind of pushed to the edges or marginalized. Amy? Indeed, it is the people's airwaves that are now being sold to the biggest companies, which causes great concern and is part of the reason that we started SpectrumEvolution.org in hopes of giving these small businesses other opportunities to use the spectrum that was entrusted to them by our government to make good use of it. But now the government believes that it should be in the control of the two largest companies. And Congress needs to realize that what they're doing is wrong and they're affecting several several people throughout this. I mean, media is a right, therefore it deserves to be protected by the same rights. And so the smaller companies still need to be protected by those rights, and so Congress can't abuse them. Yeah, they can't just show up and act like they have all the power. Exactly, because they don't. The power is in the people, and the smaller media streams are for the people, therefore deserve to be protected just as the people should be. Yes. Yeah, but another thing about the people, like this isn't as big as Congress, mm -hmm. but the people need to like, make Congress realize that what they're doing is wrong. Yeah, because it's, it's almost the people's responsibility to point it out to Congress and make them think what we're doing is wrong, because they almost aren't realizing Yeah, government has power to do so many things, but it's the people's responsibility.
responsibility to make sure that they're keeping their rights. I think what Congress should do is look very carefully at whether or not their lust for more revenue is actually good public policy. And I would encourage every citizen to take a look at that and not think that a spectrum shortage, as is being promoted, is really true. The technologies that we have for our wireless spectrum today are okay, but they're really not the best. There's a lot of efficiencies that can be created through enhanced services. So the key to this and the key to what Congress can do is make sure that they don't undermine the fabric of communications infrastructure by really just selling all of our airwaves to the guys who have the most money. I'd like to make sure that future generations have access to those airwaves. And if we don't stop this now, there may not be any airwaves left for young people to try to use in the future.